Hey there, RHS. I'm Matt Vernier. And I'm Abby Mead. And this is your Daily Dose for Monday, November 10th, 2014. The Wyandotte Warriors squirt hockey team hosted a pinkout game back in October to support one of the players' family members. Here's Ethan Cancullo with more. On Sunday, October 19th, the Wyandotte Warriors squirt hockey team hosted a pinkout game to support one of the players' families. Here's some more information. What was the goal of the event? Um, just, I guess, to create awareness, um, and you know, it is October, um, they had pink jerseys and they wore the grandma's last name on the back, each boy, so that was kind of neat for her. And we just really wanted to build awareness and again, just kind of teach the boys a sense of being a part of making awareness for something kind of bigger than themselves and an issue that's um, in our world. How did it turn out? Great. We had obviously a lot of our family and friends there. Um, Mr. Blake and I, we were just so really honestly um, overwhelmed with how many kids came out to participate early on a Sunday morning. It really was really cool. It was great. Um, my role during the hockey game was mainly just coordinating like the little pep band section that we had. So we just wanted to do that throughout seventh hour because we thought it would be like showing seventh hour's real spirit in the biologic olympics why did you decide to go to the event because my papa has breast, breast cancer and like i would like if someone did that for me wow this really shows that students can come together for a greater cause ivan ethan cancula stay fresh rhs now back to the anchors thanks ethan in club news Today, Key Club will be meeting. Come get involved in your community. Anyone interested in joining WAC, please see Mr. Wymore or Mrs. Frost, preferably males who would be interested in hosting and traveling. If you don't know what WAC is about, come and find out. In other news, RHS will be hold holding our first college fair during parent-teacher conferences this Thursday, November 13th, from 5.30 to 8 p.m. The admission reps will be set up in the LMC. Also at conferences, if you missed your chance to buy a yearbook, we will be selling them for $60 that night only. The Savannah College of Art and Design has rescheduled their visit to November 29th during first and second hours in the art room. If you are not currently an art student, please see Mrs. Stiles for a field trip permission slip. In general news, the art department is taking a trip to Chicago Saturday, May 2nd through Monday, May 4th, 2015. Any interested Roosevelt students are welcome to sign up. See Mrs. Stiles for more details. Also, on November 13th at 8 a.m., any student who was invite, invited to have an academic breakfast to celebrate their success throughout the high school, invited parents and students will attend during first and second hour. In CRC news, the following colleges will be coming for a visit. Tomorrow, Saginaw Valley State University during second hour in the CRC. On Wednesday, Ferris State University during fourth hour in the CRC. Here's Sam Phillips with your sports news. Hey guys, I'm Sam with your sports report. The fall sports have come to a close. However, the winter season is just beginning. All students should try to get involved somehow. Whether you're trying out or just attending one of the events, it's a great way to get involved. Freshman and JV basketball tryouts are today at 4 p.m. in the new gym. Girls Varsity is also today at 4 p.m. in the old gym. It's not too late for tryouts for competitive cheer. Today is the last day for tryouts in the upper gym at 4 p.m. Boys who are interested in basketball, your tryouts are November 17th directly after school in both gyms. Good luck at tryouts today. That's all your sports news for today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Sam. Students. Please remember, headphones and earbuds can only be worn before and after school or in the cafeteria during lunch. Any students wearing them any other time will have them confiscated. Happy birthday to Jordan Hubbard. Over the weekend, happy birthday to Morgan Simpson, Aaron Kronovich, Joshua Head, Cameron Basher, Kylie Corbeer, Chelsea Cancula, Brian Shurian, Bailey Adams, Julia Parker, Gerald Scanlon, Madison Bennett, and Jeremy Burklow. I've been Matt Vernier. And I've been Abby Mead. Stay classy, RHS.